from one of Hollywood's longest lasting marriages to a horrifying betrayal and a second chance at love after tragedy. Get ready for the Goldberg actors' real life romances. Wendy McLendon Covey as Beverly. Her role in the smash hit Bridesmaids first brought her wide recognition, but we also know and love Wendy as the overprotective mom in Goldberg's. Yet, even though she is so successful, the actress didn't find success overnight and struggled to make ends meet. Wendy admitted that she wouldn't be where she is today without the support of her husband, Gray Covey. There was a long time when my husband worked two jobs to put me through improv school. The couple met as students at a community college in the Los Angeles area. And even though they've set a Hollywood record, they've been married for 25 years. Wendy still sounds like a newlywed when talking about Greg. While she was a struggling actress, her parents had their doubts about her career choice. Covey was the only one who believed in and backed her all the way. No wonder she's not planning to let him out of her sight. Ever. I am so lucky that I have him in my corner, and I'm not letting go. I've got my claws in that man. Although Wendy's marriage sounds like a fairy tale, there is one problem. The couple doesn't have any children, and she's tired of having to justify her decision. She respects motherhood, but it's just not for her. And in any case, she's got her TV kids to stalk. I don't have any kids of my own, so I stalk their Instagrams. Yes, they fair. <laughs> oh, As you should. Troy's in Italy. <laughs> I hope he's eating vegetables. On the other hand, Wendy's on-screen husband does have kids. Also, he nearly had an equally long and happy marriage. Jeff Garland as Murray. You can also catch him in Curb Your Enthusiasm. But of course, we know him as the stern head of the Goldberg household. In real life, Garland and his wife Marla were well on their way to 25 years of wedded bliss. Together, they have two sons who are both in their 20s now. Sadly, things fell apart, and Jeff announced their divorce in 2018. Many Hollywood splits see ridiculous amounts of money go down the drain. Not to talk about the emotional toll it can take on everyone involved. However, Jeff believes women should always come out on top in divorces, and he's putting his money where his mouth is. And you told me before we came on the air that it has been a pretty amicable process. It's not even pretty amicable, very amicable. Super amicable. And it will be amicable because I love her. The actor clearly still loves Marla, even though things didn't work out. The last thing he wants is a painful ordeal for his family. He's got too many female friends with horror stories about greedy ex-husbands. I love her and I respect her and I also know that uh, I'm going to take care of her for the rest of her life. While the family still spends time together, Jeff has since found a new love in his life. Earlier this year, the actor made his relationship with Sari Trot, Instagram official. I dig this woman. More surprisingly is that she digs me. His new love is an editor and has worked on many well-known projects such as It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Blackish and Drunk History to list a few. We all know love is complicated, so as long as everyone is happy, we're happy. But sadly, not everyone is as honorable as Jeff when it comes to relationships. And one Goldberg actress had to learn this the hard way. Haley Orantia as Erica. No doubt the actress is smart and popular in real life too, but she had been incredibly unlucky in love. She met the former Marine Paralympian, Brandon Peltier, on the set of The Goldbergs six years ago. He was part of a tour group for wounded veterans. They hit it off and eventually began a long-distance relationship. And after dating for a year, he moved in with her in Nashville. It was going great until Haley made a shocking discovery of betrayal. Your thoughts may wander to cheating, but it's something completely different. About a year and a half into the relationship, the actress's bank phoned. There have been suspicious activities on her credit card. It turns out her own boyfriend had been stealing from her. It wasn't a small amount of money either. He'd taken almost $9,000 through fraudulent credit card charges and bank withdrawals. Haley was heartbroken. She thought they'd get married one day. How do you even move on and trust again after something like that? In Haley's case, music became her outlet. Apart from being an actress, she's a singer and songwriter too. Two years ago, she released her EP, The Way Out. 
it's a very emotional EP. It's kind of a long story, but I um, dated someone and it ended up being a very traumatic kind of ending. I found out he was stealing a lot of money from me, lying about who he was. So I ended up kind of packaging all of that feeling into this EP where each song represents a different stage of grief that I felt myself experiencing. You'll be glad to know that this traumatic experience didn't stop her from believing in love again. Although it took a long time to trust. She's currently in a relationship with Greg Furman. Greg is also an actor who has starred in Flight 666, The Last Keepers, Triassic World, and others. The couple looks incredibly happy if Instagram is anything to go by. Thank you for being patient with me and my heart. We waited a long time for you. Besides acting, the two also share a love for music. On that note, they are hoping to collaborate on some things soon, and we can't wait. Just before we see what AJ Machaka is up to, let's pay tribute to a legend. George Siegel as Pops It was a massive loss when, during the show's eighth season, Siegel passed away due to complications from surgery. We'll always remember him as Pops, busy goofing off or giving sage advice to his grandchildren. In real life, Siegel leaves behind his third wife and many children and stepchildren. George met his wife Sonia when they were both at the same school, but they only tied the knot nearly 40 years later. They were happily married until his passing. I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> Don't cry, George. Next, let's look at one of the younger cast members. Amanda Joy, AJ Machaka as Lainey Lewis. We got to know her as Erica's best friend, but much like her co-star Haley, AJ knew she wanted to do something with her passion for music. That's why she's one half of the duo, 78 Violet, formerly Allie and AJ, with her older sister Allie. All this is, is another mistake, is another mistake, to check off my list. Together, the two have been making music from a young age. Apart from acting and singing, AJ places Faith first in her life. And as far as her dating life goes, it looks like she's been dating actor Josh Pence for the past three years. Pence is also known as Dennis Cooper on Good Trouble. It looks like they're still going strong, as you can see from recent photos of the couple on her IG. Last but not least, we'll take a look at someone who is no stranger to loss. Patton Oswalt as the narrator. This comedian and actor is supposed to be the adult Adam, the family's pop culture-obsessed youngest child. With many credits behind his name, Oswald is well-established. Some of his projects include Young Adults, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and others. Patton has a lovely daughter with his late wife, true crime writer and journalist Michelle McNamara. After 10 years of marital bliss, Michelle sadly passed away in her sleep when she was just 46. She left behind a devastated husband and child, and Oswald wrote a tear-jerking obituary of her for time. She steered her life with joyous, wicked curiosity. Still, Oswald has found comfort in sharing his grieving process with the world. If, if you don't talk about it, then grief really gets to set up and fortify its positions inside of you and begin to immobilize you. In spite of his loss, Patton moved on a year after he lost his wife. He found love when he least expected it and is now married to actor Meredith Salinger. The way they met seems destined to be. We met uh, online. We Tinder? met through a, a little, yeah, little Tinder. I was uh, <laughs> one of my many personas. Of course, he's just pulling your leg. The real meet cute happened around a missed dinner party hosted by a mutual friend. No, we met because we have a mutual friend, uh, the actress Martha Plimpton. Meredith started messaging Patton about the amazing lasagna he'd missed out on after he couldn't make it. The couple ended up chatting online for months before they finally had their first in-person date. Oswald told People he never expected to feel this level of joy in his life again. But I did, so now all I can do is show Meredith a level of gratitude and love that's greater than the joy she brought me and my daughter Alice. At her dad's wedding, little Alice was the loveliest flower girl. It's good to see that every dark cloud has a silver lining, isn't it? On that note, there's great news for the Goldberg family. Can you guess what it is? ABC has renewed the show for a ninth season. The new episodes are dropping on September 22nd. So far, the plot hasn't been confirmed, but we do know it will mostly focus on the family's struggles with new difficulties. After Jeff's proposal, we might expect to see a wedding. And who knows, maybe we'll witness other love interests as well. 
Until then, did you know that McClendon Covey follows the real Beverly on Twitter? Yeah, and she has a healthy respect for her real-life counterpart, who visits the set at least twice a season. That brings us to the end for today. If you enjoyed this, you'll love our video about the real-life partners of the Fuller House cast. And remember to stay awesome!